guys happy monday i know that i'm starting to say happy monday it's not the morning anymore you know i'm a little late it's about almost two o'clock but today is monday and mondays usually scare us because we're like oh my goodness we have such a long week ahead of us Ugh, why monday but you know mondays lately have been a great feeling for me because whatever we did not accomplish last week or whatever we didn't do last week that we should have done god has woke us up and gave us breath in our bodies activity of our limbs and another chance another week another day another breath just to get it right you know what i'm saying i, I always say you place your hand on your chest you feel that heartbeat it's called purpose so god has given you another day to reach your full potential, to do whatever it is that he has called you to do. And that's a blessing. So what's up Monday? We are ready to tackle you and the rest of this week, okay? <laughs> so um, I just want to give an encouraging word. It's like a fire that's burning on the inside of me in a positive way. Um, To just keep on going. You know, a lot of times certain things happen in our lives and it affects us to keep pushing and to keep going. But today I just want to encourage somebody that God didn't bring you this far to just bring you this far. Do you get my drift? God did not bring you this far to just bring you this far. In other words, God has so much more in store for all of us. Certain things that our mind can't even begin to fathom. And that's just been burning and ringing on the inside of me like never before. And I have been watching Bishop Jake's daughter. Her name is Sarah Jake's Roberts. And she has a new book coming out and it's called Don't Settle for Safe. And I felt like it was so ironic. And I was so happy because I felt like I was in line, you know, in line with the spirit. And that we all were just on one accord, the body of Christ. Whenever, I, whenever. You know, God is speaking the same thing to me as he's speaking to other people. I'm like, thank you, Lord. I'm listening to you. We all on this thing together. We trucking, we trucking together, you know. And she has a book called Don't Settle for Safe. And God has been telling me that since last year. Like, Raquel, you cannot settle for safe. You know, and settling for safe means that there is so much more in store for you. You, you know what I'm saying? Settling for safe is becoming comfortable being where you are. You know, I'm comfortable with this job. You know what I'm saying? I have dreams. I want to write a book. You know, I, I want to I um, accomplish other things in my life. Whatever your dreams may be. I want to start my business. But, you know, I mean, I guess I don't have to do it right now. Or I'm fearful. To do it so i guess i'll just stay right here and one of the worst things that we could do is just stay right here when god has all of this he wants to take us higher and higher and higher and he has so much more in store for us but because we are we have become comfortable settling for where we are because we become comfortable and, and a lot of times the reason why we don't, you know, try, the reason why we don't step out on faith to reach our full potential is because of fear. <laughs> that little thing called fear, man. Fear, fear, fear will really do some things. But I've learned that the blessing, the blessing of, there, it's a blessing in un uncomfortability, if that's a word. Yeah, it is. It's a blessing in being uncomfortable. The blessing of being uncomfortable is where faith and fear meet, man. Faith and that fear is when they meet each other. It's okay to be fearful to, you know, go to the next level. It's okay to be fearful once you begin to feel uncomfortable because in order for God to really do things on the inside of us and to take us to newer, newer heights, we have to be uncomfortable. We can't be complacent and we can't feel okay. We can't just remain comfortable because remaining comfortable is staying in the same, staying in the same state of mind. How are we going to grow if we if we continue to be if we continue to want to be in the same state of mind, the same area, the same using the same tools? So it's okay for fear to, to it's okay to be fearful for change, but you have to know that you have to allow faith to out to outdo fear. 
and faith will definitely outdo fear. Just take one leap of faith to just truly go after whatever it is that God has in store for you. And it's imperative that we do not dwell in a fearful state of mind and that we allow our faith to kick in. Because being complacent is just one of the, it's just a terrible thing. It's my, it's my biggest fear, actually. My biggest fear is to know that God has, to know that God has so much in store for me in my life. But because I was fearful and because I just wanted to be comfortable, because I didn't, I didn't like the feeling of uncomfortability, that I just stayed right here. And that's the worst thing that we can do because I feel like when we reach our full potential, because all in all, everybody's duty of ch children of God are to win souls for the kingdom of God and whatever you and whatever you do to win souls. And I feel like if I don't reach my full potential or if I'm stagnant and not allowing God to stretch me and to take me to where he wants me to be and to reach newer heights, it's something in me that I can only give to certain people, that I can only deliver because of what God has put in me. God has placed specific things and specific callings and specific messages and specific ways to help people that only we as individuals can do. I can only do it my way, the, God has given, the way that God has given me. You can only do it your way, the way that God has given you. And if you don't go out and allow that uncomfortable uncomfortability to you know allow it to be you know own it it's scary it's fearful but allowing god to stretch us gets us to where we need to be allowing god to stretch us gets us to where we need to be life i take life very seriously i take life very seriously and i don't want to be in the same space i don't want to be in the same position 10 years from now i don't want to be in the same state of mind i want to accomplish what God wants me to accomplish. He's given all of us gifts and talents and we cannot just be stuck. We have to be like, you know what, Lord? Just do whatever it is that you need to do on the inside of me. Take me to where you want me to go. Yes, I'm fearful. Yes, I don't feel like I'm qualified. <laughs> but because you have said that you've placed these things on the inside of me and that I can do it, because you are opening doors, I'll say yes to you. I'll say yes to being uncomfortable. And I will not allow fear to overtake me. But I'll step out on faith. And I will just keep pushing. My mom's calling me. So I gotta go. Allow this to be a blessing. Blessing.